So the part that I'm trying to make is on the right, and it's a window frame that opens for the Iroquois catamaran. And that white stuff that's smeared in sort of a circle on the middle is fairing compound that I sanded flat to make a really nice flat spot to glue the window in. And because I don't have enough confidence, I'm afraid the fairing compound may fall off taking my window with it. So, after marking a potential spot to cut out for the window, I've wetted it out with some catalyzed resin, and I'm going to take all those pieces of chopped strand mat that I tore up, and I'm just going to go around and around the part until I've laid all of that fiberglass up on the part over the fairing compound. And this is the plastic that I got to make the hinge. It's plastic water pipe, and I got the smallest kind that they have, and then a kind that's a little bit bigger that the small piece will fit inside of. So the small piece can be the hinge pin, and the bigger piece can be the parts of the hinge on the outside. Now I'm basically cutting the furry parts of the fiberglass away from the outside and leaving myself with the final shape of my part. And I'm cutting out these two slots at the top leaving three tabs that will attach this window frame piece to three parts of the hinge. And I can finally cut out the middle part where the window will go using the circular saw for the straight pieces and the oscillating tool for the curved areas at the corners. And that's basically what the window frame will look like. In order to use the plastic water pipe as a hinge, I thought it would be best to start out by covering the pieces of water pipe with fiberglass and letting that harden before trying to incorporate it into the rest of the part. So that's what I'm doing here is I'm just rolling up these five pieces of plastic pipe and little bits of chopped strand mat. And if you're a pack rat like me and you never throw away those twist ties that come with a bag of bread or like in electronics packaging, you'll have enough of those in a drawer to tie up all these pieces of fiberglass. And so after the resin's hardened, I'm kind of untwisting the twist ties, but they don't come off completely. They do come off when I sand these parts, though. This is what it looks like when the resin hardens, and there's a bunch of excess there, and this is what it looks like after I've sanded it and made it a lot more round. And that looked so nice, I'm going to do the same with the other four parts. And here I'm test assembling my hinge to see where it's going to go. And I can mark um, the window frame part 
to cut out a little bit more to make room for those pieces of hinge that go in between, that go on the, the bottom piece that's attached to the boat rather than, oh, look how thick this fiberglass has gotten. That's like a quarter of an inch thick. It's plenty thick enough to be strong enough to make this part. So I'm doing a lot of sanding and now I'm going to glue the hinge to the two parts and after taping those pieces of water pipe in place I'm putting just a little bit of thickened resin at either end of each piece just to tack it in place and I'm not going to put any more fiberglass on it right now what I want to do is let the fiberglass harden and then I can come back and remove the tape and then test it to see if I've got a working hinge. And, and I don't. Actually, it's just the little bit of extra tab that sticks out past the piece of pipe that was preventing the hinge from opening. And after I ground all of that off, I can reassemble the hinge basically just sliding the smaller piece of pipe that's the hinge pin in from one end and once it's all the way through now I can open the window frame and it's solidly connected to the other part but in such a way that it can open and close and since those pieces were only tacked in place I'm gonna go through now and attach them more solidly to the window frame and the other piece that gets glued to the boat. So the first stage involves some chopped strand mat that gets wrapped around and glued down to the other piece and each side gets treated a little bit differently. The other one was wrapped underneath and this I'm putting the thickened resin down and then laying the chopped strand mat over the top of that. And all of that's hardened now and I'm going to put on even more thickened resin. It's thickened resin with a lot of pieces of chopped up fiberglass in it. And I'm using wax paper as like a release film so I can smooth this real s smooth with my hands and the wax paper will make a fairly smooth surface so I have a lot less sanding to do later it's like peel ply for somebody who's too cheap to buy a whole roll of peel ply so wax paper it's nowhere near as good as peel ply, but it sort of works sometimes. And you can really smooth it out pretty good through the wax paper. And I tried not to get any resin behind these two tubes because that frame has to lay flat there or the hinge won't line up so it can't get assembled with the hinge pin and that's what's happened here so I checked it I ground some I checked it I ground some more and eventually I get this part flat enough that the frame will lay flat on it and I can once again get the hinge assembled and with a working hinge, I guess that's just going to be it for this time.